Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Hearts R4 Modern Day as Liechtenstein, and well, how to Liechtenstein bring down Switzerland or something like that. So um, yeah, just a um, comment from Latvian Tanker, do at least one episode as Liechtenstein. It's actually been a quite lot of talk about Liechtenstein, so I decided to... Alright, let's do it. <laughs> nothing, nothing really more than that, but just a one-time episode of where, well, you play as Liechtenstein and try to, um, well, expand and take Switzerland. So, let's remove this one and let's begin. So, stability, we begin at very high, that's really good. And reactionary influence, so we are reactionary. I should probably have looked at that. Uh, conservative um, Vatilendish Union. <laughs> oh god, I'm slaughtering that. Let's see. Um, Alright, they added some new stuff in modern day that you have some kind of influence to different parties. Uh, let's see, stagnant birth rate, neutral form policy. Uh, I want more aggressive. Uh, let's see, uh, very high stability, giving us some really nice bonuses to begin with, and uh, how to bring down Switzerland will be quite difficult. We're a very small nation with not very much to actually do, but um, what we need to do is definitely have some kind of tank division, so that's like everything else is out of the question, then some industry is always good to have, and then we really need to focus on, first of all, I want that protective networks to see exactly what kind of divisions, well, they have. Uh, let's see, we have filled this, yeah, we have, uh, we can at least, yeah, let's build some infrastructure right here, and probably after that, level 10 forts, we are gonna try to wear Switzerland out right here while having one or two tanks, 184, <laughs> god, that's so sad, 184 manpower, well, it's more than what I had with Vatican City, but with Vatican City, I had, um, I don't know, several hours of planning, and well, figuring out, testing, and this time I'm just jumping straight into this. Whew. Yeah, let's see if this works. So, we need manpower, we need to scrape by and get some extra manpower somehow. Uh, let's see, we'll probably have to go at least service by requirement, for that we need... Let's see, one of following must be true, at war or one of following. So, Islamic, fascist, nationalist, communist. Hmm... This is minus 1% manpower, if I correct, if I remember. Yes, minus 1% right here. Communist, that's plus 2%. Here's plus 10%, but everyone will start to hate me and will probably gang up against me, so we can't do that. Uh, values of all, this is no, uh, no manpower at all. Maybe something like this, then. Uh, let's see. Wait, we don't get a penalty? No, there. Your stability will decrease by 10, yeah. And, fifth, well, only 10 right here, 15 right here. And communist, that's plus 2%. So I think we will go communist this session. Uh, we are con right now conservative. Uh, let's see, that's 10% growth in... How much men do we get every one? So yeah, that would probably not be it either. We will have to go down and actually... I think we'll be communist. Communist Liechtenstein. Uh, we need that manpower. Um, wait, wait, how much manpower or how much wall tension was it to actually bring this one up? Uh, one of following must be true, yes, and more than 70% wall tension. Ouch. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Or we don't have to be any of it, we just need more wall tension and 95%. Let's see, do... what's the next one? Oh, we need to be at war for these two, yeah. Okay, too bad. Hmm. No, we need that extra manpower, we need that 2% without making everyone mad, so yeah. We'll have to go the communist path. Oh god, right. Um, don't make weird stuff, because you're a huge camera right now. <laughs> Hopefully that will make people happy and stop. I, I don't know, why do you want a big face cam? It's weird. Oh, right, we're not producing anything. Uh, maybe because we can't produce anything. Whoa. All right, um, I will have to just skip that a quickie and just get one military factor at least. Or do we need it? Do we need it right now? Yeah, actually, we kind of need it right now. We need as many military factories as possible right now. Um, while this military power or this political power can begin with turning me communist. Uh, communist, 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 communist. Reactionary, you know, reactionary democracy was that. Communist revolutionary, there we go. So yeah, we need to become communist. 
what else do we get from communists? Uh, democracy goes strong. Well, okay, I'm fine, but one stability, that's nice. Let's see, uh, communist. We gain, yeah, that's your daily drift, support, uh, let's see. 2% recruit population, that's the one thing we need. Uh, division recovery rate, uh, daily political power, and justification wartime minus 10%. Decent bonuses, not as good as, well, actually, real poli politic that we could go come to by family values, or common sufficiency. But, um, well, we need to go that way. Let's see, maybe we should... Maybe we should try to grow some manpower, actually. Uh, it's right here. We open our country, that's 40% more. No, that still won't give us anything. We need more land for that. Currently, our population is 37,000, which is quite a bit more than in Vatican City. Hmm. Yeah, but in Vatican City, we can go and take, well, we took Montenegro. And I don't want to wait eight years. I want to try to do this as quickly as possible. Though my, as quickly as possible might not be that quick. <laughs> we'll just have to see exactly how to do this. Um, amazing stability would be amazing. Because, well... Not because of the, well, consumer goods right now. Because we, well, we don't have any factories to produce anything with. It's just all, generally, all other bonuses. We need all bonuses we possibly can get. Uh, we'll have to time this one too. Actually, war economy maybe even. One of following... More than 75% world energy. Okay, we need at least... Oh god, we need so much map <laughs> political power. A ridiculous amount, really. Uh, okay, we need a theorist from day one. Or right now, military theory. Oh yeah, army. Ugh, I, I read air for a second. Yeah, we need definitely an army theorist. Um, why we need so much political power? Basically, my plan... Um, since this is the now updated version with Death and Dishonor and the new 1.4 Oak patch, if you justify war goal against anyone and then just cancel it, the world tension is gonna disappear. So what we have to do is gather up enough world tension to justify against the United States, China, India and Russia. I think that was it. I that was the only thing I checked before before starting. That's nine percent because if that was not possible, nine thirty four, this campaign wouldn't be possible. Fifteen, then we have thirty three right here. No, thirty one. Okay, we might have just fought against anyone else. It depend all depends on what other stuff happens in the world. But that would raise world tension enough for us to both raise manpower law, raise mobilization law, and yeah. That's it. So we're gonna need a hell of a lot of, uh, well, political power. So this is now ahead of time. Uh, max factor output, please. And right here. So tanks, 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 tanks. We need the best tanks and mechanized we could ever have. My division is probably gonna look something like, I think, this. Um, oh, wait, mechanized. And let's see mechanized right here it all depends on how much manpower we will be able to bring out i'm hoping for 20 40 000, 20 30 000, maybe 40 even if we're super oh wait no 40 000. all right we only have 37 Ooh, we might get way less than i what the hell was i thinking i think we better be happy with if we manage to get 10 000. this might be a bit difficult actually since yeah, if we want to do this very quickly, we'll have to squeeze out as much manpower as possible. Hmm. Let's see, what kind of resources do we have? Absolutely nothing. Do we have anything? Do we have like civilian... We have two civilian factories. One that we can use. Hmm. Think, Daniel. Think. How can we squeeze out as much manpower as possible? Hmm. We'll really have to figure out something out. Um, we can get at least some steel and... Well, actually that's only two. That's much less than... Wasn't this... Is this now scaling depending on nation? I'm pretty sure we had a ton more when we played as... Well... What is our other modern day campaign? As United States, we got like 20 or something? Maybe I'm thinking... Oh wait, no, that's Kaiserreich. I don't know. Uh, let's begin with natural strength, just so we can start reducing everything. Um, my stability will decrease by 3, right? Oh, wait, actually, it will decrease by 3. That might be too much. 
We have only received one. It would suck to go down from very high. Uh, anyway, let's begin producing some tanks. Seven per year, eight per year. All oh, right, we have some growth still, but it's gonna be tight. Uh, we need five steel for every one. Uh, we can't trade for that. Oh wait, what? We can't trade? We should be able to Oh wait, is this no? We own that one. Oh, when we got our military factory, it was <laughs> it was removed from us. The one single thing we had. <laughs> anyway, um, it's still gonna need a lot of time. Our uh, well, our one civilian factory was removed. Uh, let's see how much consumer goods are actually being used right now. How how many percent? Thirty eight percent. That's quite a bit. Uh, let's continue down here. All oh, right, we have the manpower right here. Oof, five percent. <laughs> Thank God. I completely forgot about it. Uh, let's see. Actually, if we go down that path, we might not have been forced to go there. The more manpower, the better. But we can't have everyone gang up against us. Otherwise, Islamic would have been the best one. Since our only goal this campaign is to grab one single nation, which is Switzerland. Let's see. Um, mechanized. We need to... Almost, almost thinking of trying to get this one somehow. Uh, let's see, encryption, decryption, yes, that's pretty good, but not something, oh, right, here, uh, let's see, engineering would probably be something we desperately going to need. Uh, anyway, light atta uh, night attack is something that en everyone gains on, and let's see, here's defense for our mechanized. So we're going really, really just full military build. Everything that will improve our military, and especially this tank division I plan to get, that's what we're going to pick so we're at least having I don't know how long five six years and that's basically what I plan to bring down it's already 12 minutes and god we have barely done anything only talked about what kind we want to do wait what does European Union actually give no 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 we don't want that we definitely do not want that let's see what we do want, let's have the game ticking. In the meantime, is let's see, can we get any more cool stuff while this is going on? More blue power is pretty good, but like we we don't have to pick anything. What we want is a lot of um, well, a lot of blue power for later, so we can switch every law right now. So we, if we don't have to pick anything, then we shouldn't pick anything. Uh, yeah, let's begin right here. Path of equality. And just get down right here. So we start having our ticking. Because I don't want to pick this one with the 15 stability penalty. This, path of equality, communism, then switch to something else. Alright. Um, well, we can at least go up to limited conscription. Because we are, well, eventually going there at least. So right now we have 594 men. Uh, Panzer Regiment, that's 500 men, so at least we could get out a single tank right now. And that I actually want, because I want to start training this now. Really. I want to start training it, getting more... Actually, yeah, you should have the top rated. Yeah, you should be as trained as possible. We are... I'm, I'm thinking of either getting one unit or two to try to bring you down. Wait... Austria? Maybe I should try to kick the crap out of Austria before. Uh, works right is important. We bring down Austria and then we bring down Switzerland. Uh, the only thing in this comment was, right? Maybe take out Switzerland. Hmm. Taking out Austria might actually be the best. To begin with. Well, for, we at least need our tank first. Uh, moderate tax. Um, natural unity, I don't have to think about really. Since if we lose our capital, that well, we lost. Let's see. Um, you're really just hoping. Um, there's only good things really from this. Well, we have some month population, 2%. But that's not worth it having. So yeah, I'm just going to switch to high taxes right now. I don't, I don't really care about us getting to 1% natural unity, or minus, I think minus 10% is the least we can get to, so 
that's what we're gonna do. That's what we are going to do. Uh, let's see. All oh, right, 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 right. Communist first. Communist first. Uh, here. Communism. Very good. How how big are we? Actually, twenty nine percent. That's more than I thought. A major conservative rally. Ah, oh, really? Come on. Now we're at twenty eight percent. Anyway, this is gonna boost that up a bit more. Communist party influenced by one. Oh wait, is that what this is? Oh, then I understand. Oh. Oh, now I, now I finally understand what they meant with party influence. So we have a certain influence of all nations, or all parties. And most of them are probably at zero, except some of them that have been modified plus and minus by different events. Like the first event we had in the beginning. Oh, damn Daniel. You can be so slow sometimes. Hmm. I don't think rocket artillery is going to be useful right now. Um, this is probably going to be useful. This is slow, we can't do anything right there. Engineering. No, maybe. Let's see. 35. We have a 35% 35, 35 bonus right here. I don't want to waste it on anything. Let's just pick the decryption algorithm and, well, encryption algorithm right now. Since I don't really know exactly what to pick. Right. So, you, one time off. Here, here. 44 more tanks. That's gonna take a while. That's going to take a while. Or you're gonna pick this. We're gonna switch to communism. And then we're gonna, well, just go down this entire path. All of these are gonna be mine. And when I mean all of this, I mean all of this. Maybe even these two. We could fix the infrastructure. But that would, well, that would be about us building factories. Which we won't be doing. Well, at least not now. Let's see, after another 150 million power, we'll raise this one to very high taxes. Sure, our national unit is gonna, well, disappear, but like I said, we don't care about that. Getting that 30% more political power, minus 3% consumer goods, research, time reduction, and factor output. That's things we care about. And yeah, that would be pretty nice actually, having more political power. There we go, night vision done. We need to upgrade this one even more. Sure. Let's see, do we have any land doctrine research time reduction stuff? Uh, you Armor focus, no. Oh, here we have one at least. Otherwise here we have some army training or army experience things if we need to. Okay, now we have everything right here. This one is the next one to reduce, yes, to become communist and stuff, so nope. Um, wait, isn't there some recruitable population somewhere? All oh, right, here, recruitment strategy is 20%. Oh, cool. But I have some feeling that there's removing that. Let's see, armor experience gain. Here's building forts, but... Oh, wait, wait, I'm just thinking of the extra research slot, I think. No, here, here, recruitable population, 0 0.2. So that one we we'll probably want too. But for now, let's just do, well, the entire military development right here. Military, military, military. Because that's at least one thing that can't be, well, pulled away. Or do we actually want to go the all full military route? Because that means we can't trade for anything. And that means we won't have enough resources, which means you will probably have, well, right now we have a, let's see, 25% penalty. If we add one more factory, we'll have a 50% penalty, I think, a 75, and then eventually not be able to produce anything at all. Hmm. That's bad. Let's see, how, how do I get this one? That's just be communist. How do this? Only fascist, okay. So at least we can get partial mobilization, so 300. Uh, let's try to save, okay, let's now save it up. Save up 300, hopefully we're communist at that path, Become, and then we'll, well, we can probably pick this one. Or maybe it will be bypassed even. Uh, I don't think so, doesn't seem to have any bypass. So uh, we'll just get more communist support. Right here, let's pick this one. So, come on, I want to see your units. Uh, we probably need a unit first of our own to be able to see it. Uh, that's just synthetic. No, no, no. 300 days. Maybe. Let's see. 
that's 150 days, let's pick you then. 100 men, nice. <laughs> let's see, 20 minutes right now. Hmm. Yeah, will probably be a, an hour episode, maybe more even. All depends on how quickly my computer can handle this game. I really, I really want a better computer, especially now when I'm making YouTube videos. Just be able to speed through everything as quickly as possible. Uh, maybe I should do YouTube on full time. That would, uh, well, if YouTube was my full time, I could spend more money on it. <laughs> oh God. Let's see. How many percent were we now at consumer goods? 34. Getting from civilian to partial will only reduce by 15. It will still be extremely hard. Hmm. So the big question is. Military or not? Actually. Actually, I think we'll go down the civilian path right now. I want to see how much we can actually get. Getting all the civilians first and then the military. Or, no, wait. It's all because of this resource, resource reduction. Before it was easier. This was a very easy choice before. But now when you actually can get so much reduction. In, well, so much lack of resource reduction. So we actually don't get anything. Then we start to run into problems. Is there anything right here that can help me? Right now. Um, well, I guess this one... We need to just reduce the consumed goods. Okay, these two, that's minus 3%, but, well, yeah, minus 3% isn't that much. Minus 2%, so we have minus 5% if we pick those three. But here's a 40% justification of war goal time reduction. Actually, we'll only do one war. And this one, uh, well, 5% more pretty power, it's some at least. Huh, why why not pick this guy? The quicker we'll pick him, the quicker he'll pay himself back. Yeah, let's grab him. Welcome. So now, let's save up some pretty power. <laughs> I'm probably gonna find something else I also wanna pick. Let's see. Be very, very close. So this one we can actually get pretty power 20%, but yeah, like I said, it's not gonna matter. Uh, right here, weekly natural unity. And uh, yeah, public moderated, no thank you. Uh, factor output for, oh no, consume goods 4%, that can go to hell. Uh, public power, this is also just generally a good one. That one too, so maybe these two could be something. Actually we should probably pick this one too. Your natural unity getting some more. It feels nice that, like, I don't, I know that it's not doesn't actually matter if we have five percent or we if we have one hundred twenty percent. If we if we lose our capital, it's over. It's done. We're we're screwed. But for some reason, it still feels better if we just have more than zero. Uh, I'm actually gonna let you. No, that's two hundred days. So let's trade for that steel now. Uh, let's trade with Germany. Yeah, I know I can't produce anything, but right now you are getting uh, instead 25% penalty, you have a 10% penalty. That's much better. Let's see, what else can we pick right here? Night vision, no, we can get that one, which is also some more defense for our mechanized infantry. Well, for our mechanized infantry, we do not yet have. 69% slowly working yourself down all the way. I wonder if people will be watching this entire video. Right, I'm here, if you're watching this moment. Yeah, yes, interested. My average viewing time on videos is like 10 minutes on half an hour episodes, so... I wanna see if people are skipping like the middle part, if they're just jumping a bit randomly, or if they're watching like the beginning, maybe the ending. So here's like, I'm probably right in the middle of the video, so it would be interesting to see if people are watching this. Okay, uh, export focus, right, right, export, oh wait, we need 250 for it, oh really, uh, yes, we should definitely be at export focus, we're not gonna have any resources, and if we get any, let's hope someone trades with them, because then we're gonna have 
so low amounts. Because if we go down this path and see, there's two, two. We're gonna get two in everything. Half of that is gonna be exported, so we have one in everything. I'd rather have the good modifiers for all of this. All right, first of all, let's pick this guy. Yeah, more pull power. Just more, more, more pull power. Get everything. So we get 2.1 every day now. That's actually pretty goddamn good. And it's gonna help us quite a bit. Let's see, research speed, no. Radar station 2, September 11 attacks. Horrible. Uh, here's research if, uh, resource efficiency gain. But otherwise, it's nothing good. So we're gonna ignore that. Uh, let's see, artillery, are we gonna use that? No, not really. I guess we can always get engineering level 2. Because if we can have any support, it's gonna be engineering. Because that's gonna help us, well, hold our ground. So here. Should we get two more civilian factories? Should we get our second military? I think two more civilian factories. 105 days. So now we have one right here. Is there anything we're missing quite a bit of? No, it's half half right here. One every week. So if we instead say, actually, let's have you right there. Uh, oh, here, communist. For the revolution. Coup in red, Liechtenstein. <laughs> All right, uh, just a small little Soviet, <laughs> Soviet mark right there in the top left corner. We have Fritz Stotz, Stotz? Fritz Stotz as leader, and um, you're going to lead us to victory, hopefully. So yeah, uh, armored spearhead, then going down all right here, getting those two. And all right, this also means that as soon as you're done, we're going to jump straight over here to pick revolutionary committee and then will of the people. There's 0 0.25 more pulley power I want to get right there. Why I'm, why I'm so focused on pulley power is, well, I want to fill this as quickly as possible. That's just bonuses. Bonuses is what we need if we're going to bring down a, a larger opponent. Uh, let's grab that one right now. You're actually going to make quite a bit of difference. Let's see. Um, when are you actually done? Oh, actually, let's have you deployed. It just feels nicer to have a tank right here. Then nothing. Oh, here. Now we can see. German Armored Brigade. Alright, you're looking kind of dangerous. I would probably have to do two divisions, to be honest. At least two divisions. One that I can attack with, one that can defend. Because if I attack Switzerland, then I will go up right here, right here, right here. Then we have a pretty big front. But actually, if we go for Austria, then we have one, two... Then you're slowly expanding right here. Two divisions can defend all of this. And that would give me that one state. That would give me more manpower. Very little more, but... Actually, wait, isn't this 10% in modern day to keep a territory? How long would it take? 330 days. That's because we have the penalty right there. Is Switzerland... Uh, to take... Oh, wait, actually, you're focused more military. That's bad. <laughs> But to bring down Switzerland, will bringing down Austria actually... I think that might be the best. Crazy enough to say. Uh, Alright, let's get partial mobilization right now. Uh, actually, we don't need to grab you right now. Mm, still, it's, it feels nice to have. Especially, yeah, less restriction. So 30%. Well, instead of us having 40%, for, or is it 45 even? Yeah, 45 even. Uh, we reduced it by 12, I think. No, 13. So that would be, well, we reduced it from... How much did you have? 25%? 30%. So we would be at... Learn to count, Daniel. Um, minus 10, 18%. That sounds much better. God. Sometimes you can be really slow when counting math in front of other people. Well, I guess kind of in front of other people. And I've seen that I need to increase my light. One second. Come on. Oh, that's closing, and this is increasing. Ah, a bit better. Not a lot. Anyway, civilian industry, thank you. So, let's go for Revolutionary Committee. 70 days. Um, we have research slot available, and we need to go for... That's 500 days. 
Do we have anything else that would be useful? Actually, right here. Some more defense and breakthrough. Alright. It's too bad that tanks doesn't have anything like this. Just general tank upgrades. You have better trails, you have better tank gun, smoother bullets or something. And what the hell is going on with my tank? I'm not seeing that. Or, well, I'm not, I can't be the only one seeing that. Do you see? They're like blue pillars right here. <laughs> what the hell? Anyway. 350 right now. Go partial mobilization. Thank you. Which means we have three factories right here. Oh, that's awesome. That's really, really good. That was exactly the number I wanted. So, hello, oil. Let's get some right there. Hello, rubber. Let's get some... No, no, not rubber. Chromium. Let's get some right there. Which means we have everything we need for another tank. Well, facility. Uh, let's see. What else do we need to do? We need to get down right here. Oh, God. We... This is going to take a while. I wanted to do this as quickly as possible, but it's still going to be quite a while, actually, to be honest. Uh, it's my... Let's see. My green screen is looking... Okay. I think that was better. Yeah. Uh, Salt Lake City Olympics. How could we not have won this? We're probably going to be so salty when we lose this in another half an hour. Uh, oh, God. It's 16.24. I was planning to... Oh, God. I might actually only have time to do one episode for today. I'm sorry, but... Uh, okay, this is a special one. And a longer one. You better be happy about it. <laughs> you better be happy about it. Oh, God. I'm a horrible person. Okay, let's see. We needed uh, a billion manpower right there. We're gonna fix this, and we're gonna be a bit sneaky about it. Hopefully... Hopefully, they still have the basic game mechanics of Hearts Fire Neck. Why don't you try this, Daniel? Why the hell aren't you trying stuff like this? Actually, what kind of penalties will we get? If, like, if you if you just fight war goal and you don't fulfill it, you get some penalties. After 60 days, when the war goal disappears. I think it's less natural unity, and if it's only ne less natural unity, then we're fine. Hmm. Alright, alright, I will have to try this out. So, I said I was going to just fight war goals against a bunch of people and then raise my manpower law. I'm just thinking, if it works as Vanilla Hearts of Iron, then once you have come to a certain law, even if you don't fulfill everything for that law, you will still stay here and not be bumped down to the lower one. But if they have, in, if they have switched, changed that in Modern Day mod, then we will, well, if I remove one of the justification, world well, tension will be removed and this law will be bumped down. If it works that way, then I guess I will just have to keep all justifications and then just let the war goal run out and we will get a national unity penalty. It would be bad, but I guess kind of logical since it's well, modern day and they have the whole stability things, that stability would also be reduced. And I would like to avoid that. So, pretty good that we got another stability plus event. So, how much manpower do we need to wait, or how much power do we need to wait for right now? So, we have a war goal against you. That's gonna take, actually, Oh, that's just a tiny, 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 tiny increase. 2% per every. But it is a less fully power. Okay, anyway. Uh, 66 right here. 66 plus... Okay, it's 66 for every war goal. Oh, actually, that would be increased also for every war goal, war goal I justify. Oh, God, this would be... That would be very expensive. We probably need to save up for around the 8, 900, something like that. So, yeah, let's time to save up. This is gonna increase our bullet power gain, which is yeah, which is very good. That's why I wanted it. Our more spearhead is done. Let's see, that's more defense, more defense. Right here, some more defense. Uh, let's continue down here. Shresh punkt. <laughs> I can't say that. I shouldn't even try. We should blitzkrieg, we go Kampfgroup, we go the Volkstrom and non-discriminatory act. And these four are well not act, non-discriminatory conscription. These are still my two favorite icons in the entire game. Beautiful. And then, well, I guess wolf, wolf, werewolf gorillas could be something, but it doesn't really give me anything I want. Gives me a tactic, but uh, I want my tanks to blitz. Let's see. Uh, no, no, don't modify government. Don't be, don't be drawn into that. Don't be tricked. Just relax and don't do it. Uh, let's see. I'm kind of, I kind of want to pick the last one too, to be honest. 
just like in the meantime we wait for political power and pick more political power focused focuses then it could be good just well we, we can build up all of this we can build up get level 10 infrastructure get level 10 uh, forts actually why are we building all oh, right we're building infrastructure let's see you uh let's just check this yeah 220 days because this does matter right yeah they have implemented a whole infrastructure makes it go faster to build stuff and i might have just cancelled progress on the infrastructure building oh god mistakes were made whatever it would be fine hopefully eventually uh, fifa world cup actually how much infrastructure you get from focuses then we gain six i think uh, two, 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 so if we just build one more then we can do the focuses, but that's another, well, two ten days, 210 days. Do we want to do that? Do we want to spend all that extra time building up so we can have some additional forts when our main offensive will be? No, we should not focus on actually getting, well, defensive stuff right here because we're never going to win offensive war by playing on the defense we need to be aggressive we need to pull up we need to do something cool i'm just really hoping switzerland don't for some reason doing some weird folks actually oh god i think we're doing on historical focus oh shit <laughs> yeah i'm pretty sure we're going with on historical focus right now uh let's see I really hope this does not include Switzerland whenever or anyone. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but Oh god, why did I play with Donny's Gold Focus? Shit. <laughs> this might actually ruin my plans. Uh we should have gone to free trade right now. But now we can't because we're a communist. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what <laughs> we'll see what happens. And uh, yes, no more right here. 486 days let's grab that one right now because if we go down this path that's okay companies no more more power or more stability that's what i want i want amazing stability please here's just arm experience right no mechanized bonuses nope just armor and infantry 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 something of that uh all right some general good stuff. Not something. Sp oh, no. No. Let's just double check everything once again. This is a 2% reduction right there. Could be useful. Encryption. Actually, after civilian. We should probably have gone down military path. Because it's going to take a while to get all our. Yeah, it's going to take quite a long time to actually get all the um, well equipment we need for a war no but after this we're going down military path we're not going to go political power path this is going to take time which means we're going to get time by our well normal political power gain right now which is 2.48 which is amazing and yeah we're going to get enough time by doing all of those stuff so we don't actually have to do this we can just play it safe and wait uh, more land anti attack, very good. This is basically where I plan to win. They're doing bad at night, I'm doing well at night, and hopefully gonna win that way. It's scary. It's scary doing stuff like this because you spend a lot of time doing something, and then something in your plan isn't well correct. It's like I have to be the first one attacks. I have to be the first one that attacks and wins. Because they attack right here, they can just continuously attack me and wear me down eventually to um until I'm nothing, really. So I have to be the one that does the first attack. So 554, military industry level 2. Oh wait, don't we have one more civilian really? Yes, we have one right there, but uh, let's go the military path right now. All the way down, and then we can grab this one after. You see, we have four, four civilian factories right now building this. Um, how long time would this take? 500 days. Actually, I'm more fine with that. Uh, let's finish one, one more right here. And then do the forts. Level 5 infrastructure, that can be good enough. 
Or wait, the SPKM. No, level 4 right now. Uh, thinking a bit wrong right there. Uh, let's see. What can we pick? What can we pick? What can we pick? Resource gain efficiency. No, I'm not going to pick that one. That's useless for me. Let's see. Radar. No. Is there anything right here? Leg infantry. No. 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 Really, we don't have anything useful right now. That's kind of surprising, actually. And none of these stuff improves my tank somehow. Nope, doesn't seem like that either. Yeah, let's see, Do we, we don't need naval invasions. Will we need power troopers? I don't think so. Well, we only have that researched. Let's see, recon, will we? We might need field hospital, might. So let's just get that just in case. All right, 40 minutes. God. <laughs> Time pressure. Let's see, another, well, 30 days for that. This can be our second tank facility, tank factory. We already have 52 extra tanks, so we could increase that one by one. But we, what we don't have is manpower. Or at least that was what I was gonna say. We actually have enough manpower for one more right here. But we should probably focus, actually, let's not get the second one right there. Let's get mechanized as the second factory, because that's the two things we want. We are not going to focus on support equipment. If we can get some more support divisions in our tank division, then that's fine. But otherwise, we will kind of ignore that one. So mechanized infantry. That's going to really give us some, well, HP. It's going to give us a ton of organization. Wow. And I, I'm on, I'm like, honestly, wow. L let me just double check that again. This is actually so much better than I thought. We have an extreme armor value. We have a good piercing value. You are pretty cheap. You have a h very high hardness, high organization, high HP, decent soft and hard attack actually. And if we would add maybe a support artillery, that's 300 men, 21 increased right there, a ton lost in armor. What if we add one more tank? Nothing more. One more tank. Minus 9.8 right there. We will be at 9 combat width. I think this is our division. Yeah, I think this is our division. That's actually quite decent stats. Um, I wanna just want to look at something. Uh, let's see. Do you have any mountaineers? No. I'm gonna just... <laughs> let's see. You are two mountaineers. You are one mechanized and two light. I'm just guessing there, but probably. And two light. Uh, let's see. One field hospital. Uh, one field hospital, one engineer. One artillery, one field officer, one engineer, one artillery, and one recon unit. So this is your division. It would be worse. This is this one is worse than my division. You have more organization, a ton more HP, but you would do barely nothing against me. Half of your heart attack. I think we're gonna get. A ton of divisions like this. Save that. Or as many as possible at least. Hmm. That, that This is not even close to I, I, how I had planned it. I plan to probably make it, like, like I said, probably four, probably two, two mechanized. Maybe some support. Like engineers. Maybe field hospital. To do something like this and have two of these, but um, I think I'd rather have, well, five of these. It all depends on how much manpower I actually get. Alright, new plan. <laughs> so the upgrades I did for my mechanized infantry is going to be so much more important than I thought. Uh, there's 5% more land, n land night attack. Awesome. So we have right now 700. How much is this going to be need? Uh, we need... Let's see. Oh, 8%. No. 
we're not going to justify against you. Actually, that's 5%. This is 5%. Hold on. Okay. We can't, can't reduce this anyway. More gold modifier. Oh, wait. Is this more expensive? Because of my guy. I don't think it should be. But maybe it is. No, th this should just be war gold time. Maybe war gold time is still based on cost. Or so or cost is based on war gold time. Or something like that. Uh, let's just wait until we have as much as possible. L let's wait until 1000. It's not, it's not that much more. It's just 100 days. Okay. Uh, then we just need one more right there. And it's not going to cost us that much. Uh, let's get... Uh, the rubber we need. Just everything, everyone should have everything they need. Oh, we actually have enough tanks right now for our one division. So this is going to be, we're currently at 3.5% recruit population. We're going to go get up to right here. We're 3.5. This is going to add additional 5.5. Uh, so 3.5 plus 5.5. Uh, nine nine percent and this is another four percent so we're pretty after around fourteen percent how much manpower can that be really uh, come on let's select how many come on let's select our province right now there we go uh, so are we gonna be four thousand manpower so that's only two divisions or am I counting something wrong Probably I am, but um, we'll see. We'll see how much we actually get. We have 1,400 troops here already. All right, we're probably counting something wrong then. We'll see. Um, wait, do we need more military factories? We probably do. Uh, let's, oh right, we need to trade one more right there now. Do we need more military factories? It's all about time right now. Is there anything we can pick that is gonna be improving us? I was thinking land doctrines and this one. That's 20% more. We should probably go down and get that one. And then we could probably get this to get more armor. Ooh, interesting, interesting, interesting. And that would be some more arm experience that we don't really need anymore. More police power. Oh, right, that one. That one, that one we need. So police focus. Police focus, internal politics, recruit administrators, invest in public services, and then research initiative. We need that one. That one is what... Okay, good. Maybe the recruitment uh, would be more. Recruitment, uh, what is called? Recruitment uh, population factor, 20%. Maybe that's more, but... Um, I, If I remember correctly, that usually doesn't give you very much. So I'm actually gonna ignore that one. For now, at least. We might... It all depends on how strong I feel. That That's everything, really. When I de decide to attack is how strong do I feel right now? Let's see, Switzerland, you you you're so dangerous. It's just too many d provinces right here. But if we manage to get 20, 30,000 troops or population, I well troops on the field, which means 10, 20 divisions or 10 divisions. Yeah, I would be super happy if we get 10 divisions because then two, 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 two. We can get two divisions attacking everywhere. Actually, this is not bordering, so we need eight only for attacking everywhere. Then we might just go straight for Switzerland. Otherwise, we will go for Austria. Yeah, I think so. Otherwise, we will go for Austria. Anyway, we have 1,000 political power right now. This should be enough. This is 300. Okay, let's let's do it right now. Uh, this is going to increase us by 102 if we would need some more time. So justify right here. Thank you. That's 31%. Then we justify against China. That's another 41%. That's 72. Then we need a bit more. 87%. Is that enough? Serve by requirement. Thank you. And let's see. War economy. Thank you. Is there anything else we want to go for? Closed economy could be something, but... Um, I think we're pretty much done right now. Latvia, okay. So before everything happens right now and everyone starts to join, let's see if we can cancel all of this and still keep the laws. That means 0% wall tension right now. And we're keeping the laws. Everything is good. We just got a ton more stuff. 
but only 1.5k manpower more. That's less than I thought. That's less than I thought. We already have 1.5k out. Yeah, I know. But I was hoping for more. I was really hoping for more. Oh, did we pick the wrong one? No. <sighs> really? This is becoming more tight now. Oh, wait, we don't even have inf infantry equipment. Uh, we need at least one more military factory. Too bad. Let's see. Oh, God, time is really running out for me right now. I don't want this to become a two-parter. <laughs> Maybe I have to make it a two-parter. But then no one would watch this one. It's, it's boring. Me talking here for an hour. Okay, military industry. Get that one. Very good. Hmm. Can we do this with one division though? It all depends on Austria. Because now I've pretty much given up invading Switzerland. We need to go for Austria first. If we ignore that one. And look right here. We have another 1.5k troops. Or manpower. If we go down something like this. We can add three more divisions right now. That's 3.4. This one already have, yeah. So if we add one more mechanized. Oh god, you had a lot more manpower actually. This is 1.2 for every single one. Oh god, that's super expensive. Let's see. It's all of these 1,200 manpower. If we would remove this one. What would have? Yeah, horrible organization and horrible... No, we need at least one mechanized. But if we'd go for just modern tanks, that's 500. Much worse organization, but the stats would be pretty goddamn good. These stats are pretty goddamn good. We would have some very, very little spare manpower for something else. We only have 4% more, so I'm, I know I have 4% more, that's what I mean, but that's at most going to be one more division of the basic kind. But if we throw everything we have into one big, because if we manage to bring down Austria, then we're fine. So something like this. Horrible organization, but really we're just hoping it for to break Austria right away. I think we're going for this. One division to be extremely powerful. We need a ton of tanks. Actually, not a ton of tanks. That was less tanks than I thought. But yeah, we need more tanks. We need more troops. We need everything. <sighs> Modern equipment. Military factories. Very good. So we need one more right there and one more right there. We're going to need to trade for a bit more when that's done. We're getting more right there. Very good. Let's see. Austria. All of, all of this is really because they are, well, we're boarding one province. This is going to take 300 days to justify. Alright. Because once we own Austria, it's fine. But just bringing down Austria will be quite hard. They have seven, seven military factories, six divisions. And I don't know if my very specialized division will be able to bring you down. Uh, you also need maximum training, but it's no point of training you right now. It would just spend the small amount of equipment we have right now. And, uh, well, we don't even have full troops just yet. So you are finished right there. We have another, well, three focuses to pick. This one plus two more. And then we're pretty much, I hope, we'll have everything we need for it. Yeah. Okay, I will definitely be late for what I plan to go to. So midsummer, yeah, you know about midsummer, midsummer celebration. Let's see. Oh god, yeah, they are gonna be there much earlier than me. Whatever, real life plans. It's not necessary. <laughs> so, fifty more days. Come on, shop, shop. It's starting to slow down quite a bit right now. And we're only three years in the game. Let's see. Can we do anything else that would matter? Hmm. 
Well, we will of course remove this guy before we just fight a war goal, right? And uh, let's see, otherwise... Hmm. Well, of course, armor specialist is something we're gonna pick. Oh, we're gonna go for... We could uh, always go for organist. Organization guy. Organist. <laughs> Organization guy. Lol. Uh, let's see. But we're probably gonna go offensive right here. Just We need all the breakthrough we possibly can get. And one of these could also be nice to have. Let's see. Is anyone giving me soft attack? Oh, right here. Soft attack. So we need to be friends. So we need to be friends with Germany. So improve relationship with Germany. I was thinking for the next tank. This one. But we might actually never get that one right now. No, we probably won't. Let's see. Um, industry, we could all... Oh, right. You're pretty good right here. So let's get that one. Small, small arms. Yeah, let's get that one too. Let's see. We need armor specialist. We need the offensive guy. I just realized there's no point really. I was waiting more. All right, we can pick more than these. So where's the organization guy? Wait, the boss? No, right, you're only right there. But regrouping, that we can pick. Regrouping and attrition. Yeah, you're probably going to be the ones that will be necessary for me. Uh, we're not going to pick the last one right there. But what we're going to pick was... Right, we went, wanted to go down right there and pick that one. I think that's the best for now. One, two, three. Or should we go to army focus? No, that's too many focuses. I want to try to finish this. Because if this doesn't work, then, well, we're pretty much doomed. Either way, the 20% recru uh, recruitable population factor is not going to matter that much. Maybe. Maybe? If I don't succeed, and then you can try it out and actually pick that focus and see if it did that much of a difference. Uh, let's see. Uh, slowly but steadily getting your stuff. All right, we need trade for more steel right now. Hello, Germany. Germany always being our dear, dear friend. More forts. This is basically, if they get the first attack on me, I want to be able to break them that one time at least, and then push them back. So you're my safety precaution. Army training one, bad. Bad. I don't want you to have any organ. I don't want you to be able to have the stuff you need. I don't want you to be well upgrading your templates. How long is this gonna take? Three hundred days. So additional year. Weapon mounted sight. All right. Let's see more. No, right, not right there. Let's see anything that will be useful. Nine hundred days. Four hundred days. I guess that one then. Well, we of course have to save up with power then also for as soon as the war begins, we're going to just jump on another law. But I'm pretty sure we, we kind of have everything we need right now. So yeah, recovery rate, you're also very important. But now, all we have to do is save up for the justification and for the war itself. Which means, well, 300 right here and around 60. Cool. You are slowly, slowly ticking down, but we're fine. We're fine with that. This law needs to be... Well, this plan needs to be so well planned, it's going to be ridiculous. Uh, first, draw this, and then make the offensive plan. Wait, what? Oh, wait, is this... Count oh, right, it's counted as two borders. I need to select the correct one. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And now, let's do like this. That's your plan. Your great and mighty plan. Just go over. <laughs> God, this is gonna end so badly. Hopefully, it won't, but you never know. Internal politics. Recruit more administrators. Invest in public services. And then this one. Shop, shop. Some more public power right here, which is good. Let's see. God, I would have to take a break and just finish two things. Uh, maybe I can do that. It'd be an ugly cut, but like sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Will of the people. Let's see. Um, yeah, right here. Continue that way. We have some power now to use, but not yet. 
Not yet. Do not begin the war yet. Oh, wait, you have? Do you have all the manpower you need right now? No, you don't. Come on, how sl how slow can this go? Fifty-four more days. Fifty-six more days. Two percent for three percent. This is gonna be just enough. Let's see. We have a theorist that is reducing it. It's just so long time. It could have been nice to have that extra research slot. Well, this one actually research time minus two percent. But for us to get this one, we have to go down all four of these. So let's not think about it right now. Right now we are getting what we need. Very slowly, but yeah, we're getting it. Maybe it's even better if we just strike as quickly as possible, as soon as we have what I need. Just to find this war will take... Well, it will take at least 200 days. For that time... So our division would be untrained then. Or at least mostly untrained. Okay, we're gonna start training it. So we're not gonna train all our troops, but the ones getting the training will... So like, I, I firmly believe we're gonna get enough equipment, even if we train. As you can see, it's actually, we're getting losing quite a bit by training. But you need to be trained at least. You can't at least have this penalty. We're gonna get some more, well, we're gonna get some more manpower. Uh, we're gonna get some more manpower, which is untrained, but it's. I think it's gonna be fine. It's not gonna tick down to another level by just getting another 700 men. Or 250 men even. Yeah, that's nothing. Okay, it's gonna be fine. You're gonna train as yourself as much as possible for now. Uh, we have... We need 100 for our division, and we currently have... And you're fully filled, right? Yes, you have 100 out of 100. Then I'm gonna just wait until you are at 400. Then I'm gonna cancel you. Then we have four times the equipment in spare. I think that's gonna be enough. Just so we can actually start producing this faster. Okay, there, there's the group. Because I was planning to do something a bit crazy. We need to attack as quickly as possible. Austria is getting stronger and stronger. We currently might have a small, small, small advantage by just having our really good division. And by delaying this so much until we have perfect everything we can get, that's gonna just gonna, well, until a certain time, we are, well, we have an advantage. But just giving them enough time, they will just swarm beside us or take us over completely so i need to use our opportunity we have right now to maybe break them if we want to break them then now is the time so i'm gonna remove you as a leader of my nation where are you right there remove you i'm gonna pick this one consumer goods minus five percent you are now 172 days and this is 200 days so let's justify it now let's see if this works because in 172 days, we should have all the equipment we need. Uh, let's see right here. This was going to be finished in... Oh, actually 200 days. But that... Oh, that's also going to be 200 days. Oh, shit. We might have messed up. <laughs> uh, let's do this now. Just add one more right there. To finish you. Finish you faster. Uh, we can still delay the war a tiny bit. So, how good are your divisions, Austria? We might be able to do this. We might be able to do this. You might actually be able to do this quicker if these are your best divisions. I was just hoping for you not... Like, this division to begin with is actually pretty goddamn good. Actually, you could have done this a lot faster if... God damn it. Daniel, let's do research, but I think it, this still might be a bit fun. Just to see how I discover things. So if you want to do this yourself, attack Austria quicker. No. No, yes, no, maybe. You can probably do it faster than me. Still, this was just, I have, uh, well, I wanted to record something special today, and it became this. I hope you guys knew it. Uh, let's see. <laughs> you can really, really notice that I have a Severe lack of things to talk about right now. <laughs> Wait, why are you not getting your stuff? Is it somehow blocked? Because I don't have full manpower just yet? Oh. That's bad. That's just really, really bad. 
164 and this is gonna be 245 because well you don't have oil anymore let's trade with you to get that extra I want you I want both of you to be as filled as possible and you're getting more growth which is good let's see we're getting we're saving up let's see is there anything we can pick right now that's gonna help us uh, agility defense consumer goods relationship intelligence consume goods less fortification effort mm, maybe uh, banker out factory output factory output right will this actually be modified production output or is this just building speed I always mess up no factory output will only be right there never mind hmm. you hear a dog outside that's like probably 50 meters plus away crazy that you can hear it from here all right let's get that one that's another 70 days this is 90 days and soon after that the war god this will <laughs> this will be so close we should probably have taken the extra military factories i think we, i thought we were going to be fine within miles and days and years i thought we we're going to have a small stockpile even Ah, now we don't have anything of that. Mistakes were made. Alright, but we're gonna <laughs> fix the thing with Germany. Yeah, that would just take way too long time. And be kind of bad for us. Let's see. Anything... Oh! Oh! This is also a great one to pick. 10% more political power. It's, it's the one right here, yeah. One right there, and one right there. Okay, if you do this yourself. This guy. And that guy. 20% more political power, some less naval and air experience, whatever. Do we have one right here too? No, it does not look like it. But yeah, those two, almost first thing you ever do. First thing you do. Maybe high, ta high tax is probably better than that. But yeah, these two, what the hell. 20% right there. Actually, they're even so good, I'm gonna pick you right now. Yeah, that's increased by 0.3. We're probably going to need more political power, so we have extra time too. This is just going to be uh, raised to scrape in a barrel, and then I have everything. So it's fine for me. Maybe even... That I should disband you, then let you be re-entrained. But then we would lose the charge. I should probably... <laughs> God damn it. Let's see. You, you would... Uh, we should have waited a bit with Wargold right now. Okay, I'm gonna disband you. So you just get, your, get as much training as possible. 8th of December. So if we delay the war as much as possible, we might be able to get one really good division. But then we don't have the planning board. No, I'm still going to deploy you ahead of time. Still, it would be nice to have you as trained as possible. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to delay the war as much as possible. So basically declare war about day 61. Or 59. Not 61. That's one day too late. So after the war begins, let's do it. So military factory, you are going to be the one I pick now. Come on. Come on, more days. Monday. There we go. And now we have... Oh, we still don't have enough manpower for that. Division. Yeah, we really need to finish this one. That's another 2% instead of 0 0.2. Or... Oh, wait, wait. Was that actually precisely enough manpower? No, it wasn't. Uh, man, uh, manpower needed 300. Alright, you're going to be finished in 15 days. I really, really just hope that 2% is going to be enough. It should be. We currently have the well, one. Like I said, actually only 9%. Oh right, I was counting 12% with those 4, 5%. <sighs> come on, come on, come on. Let's see. Everything fine and working. Yes, very nice. Two days more. Two days more. And then this one, of course, after right away. And we have 800 more men, so we have finally enough manpower for this. 
you are gonna be finished training yeah still same date uh, we almost have enough tanks right now okay everything is gonna be fine so I'm gonna reduce this one by one and increase you by one Slovakia joined Slovenia Poland Lithuania Latvia Estonia Cyprus but still Austria no you're independent and nothing is everything is fine right there so that's it right there you're getting two every week <sighs> how many forts do we have right here four four <laughs> playing golf let's see if we research any new ones we should have the medium tank designer but let's wait right now let's just save the blue power Everything is hanging upon this. Upon this, okay. Let's get our tank out right now. A bit more training, not really a lot. You need your. Well, we need to plan this battle. Otherwise, that's your suicide. Doing it without any planning either. So you're gonna get. Let's see how much time bonus is it. Fifty percent. Yeah, that's huge. Like, you need to get this one. It's like. So let's see. No difference right here. We should be able to beat that one division. We should beat it, get over right... Actually, just grabbing the capital right here might be enough to get that one state under me. And, well, we need to somehow break your divisions. Surround it and kill it off. <laughs> we're gonna get more factories, we're gonna get more manpower. Okay, we'll, we'll see how this goes. I'm actually gonna be a freaking save scum about this. Alright, um... Actually, yeah, try to get the new one. All right, you are done, or yeah, you have 50% right here. Is there anything we're waiting for? We, you have your manpower, you have your equipment. No, let's save scum. Save scum right now, because I'm not spending this much of time and then failing. Let's try it right now. This is a bit earlier than we would like to, but let's assign leader, cool. Be very aggressive and right click right here. Okay, God damn it! you had the time to attack before me. One attacking, one defending. We're winning both, though. That's the important part. Come on, you need to break them. You can't fail. You need to break them. Okay, then let's just wait. Then let's wait and see if we can wear them out. And right here, you need to go to, well, scraping the barrel. That's another 5,000. And yeah, I would like to go to total mobilization, but that's not gonna work. All right, you're continuously attacking me. I'm slaughtering your divisions. I'm barely losing anything. Oh, God. Nice, pretty. Continuously attacking. Very good. Let's just defend. Let's continue defending. One more division would have been necessary. One more division. Well, you have all the manpower we currently, currently need. So all you need is time to build up more right now. And right now our equipment, how much are we losing in equipment ways? Not a lot there either. Okay, very good. So we can wear them out. Actually, can we break them now? Well, we are pushing some of those units back and we are winning this. But we will be losing way too much doing attacks. So let's pull back and just relax a bit more. This one should be top priority, just repairing everything. Uh, we might have to cancel. Oh god, that attack might have been doom doomed us. No, no, I think we're fine still. Just that single attack loss is like 300 men and half our army. We need two divisions. We definitely need two divisions. So you're just going to be trained right now. So yeah, just sit here and wait. Austria can't really do anything more than just kind of attacking. They need to wear us down. We need to wear them down. But right now, you don't have a very big focus on anti-tank guns. And that's the one thing that's helping us. And as you can see, you can't support your units just yet. So uh, let's continue wearing your equipment down. Okay, I think, we're, I think we can do this. We just need to be very careful that we don't attack too early. And there we go. Three more military factories. One on infantry weapon. 
One on tank, one on mechanized, and time to get some more resources. And we're still missing three steel, but that's only for you, then I'm fine. Right here, uh, let's see. Infrastructure, graphic studies. Actually, yeah, let's get the infrastructure right now. Yes, we can finish building stuff, get more transfer of equipment. Cool. <laughs> Let's see. How are we currently doing? How quickly would you be fully supplied? You will be fully supplied in... Actually, look right here. 13th of May. Uh, maybe I can leave and then come back in another 10 minutes. <laughs> no. Let's see, what else can we do to improve? Ah, uh, I can also get the modern body armor. You still have quite a bit of equipment, Austria. You're losing a ton more than me, but well, what can you do against a, a line of tanks? Well, also attacking in the mountains, it's pretty bad. That's why I wanted the support equipment. Actually, that's why I wanted the engineers. That's gonna help us with some general penalties. And it's also gonna give us more entrenchment. Hmm, that would only be five, 300 more manpower per division, which means we have more than enough for that. But for that we need support equipment. And I don't want to pull away anything right yet, right now for this. So we could always do this, and I think I'm going to do it. You're going to produce 60 support equipment by yourself without anything. <laughs> well, any equipment for this. Alright, can I break you? No, nope. let's pull back right away. I want to see green right away if I attack you. Otherwise, just stay here and train up more. 169 days, and this is gonna be 500 days. God, that's a l very long time. <sighs> so yeah, let's just wear them out. This is a way you can abuse the AI right there. Is that your entire army? Yeah, it is. Wait, no. Five... This is three, four, five. So you probably have two division stations, one in Vienna, one in another city, or maybe two in Vienna. Where are the units out? Yeah, it's a presidential election. All right, you, everyone has low organization right now. Let's see if you can attack and break them. Come on, just a small breaking more. Break their spirit. You are regular right now. Come on, a bit more. Good, we broke one province right now. And we're right now failing because... Or actually, we're taking slightly higher because we don't have our fort support. But this is the way we have to do it. Slowly but steadily. One province at a time. <laughs> this is actually working. <laughs> A uh, non-discriminatory act, very good, cool. Let's get that one. Let's see how much are we missing now. 34 and 11 main battle tanks for the front line, that is. And here's the big penalty right now. Actually, this is one new fresh division right now. Infantry type 4. Oh crap, you might actually have very good anti-tank guns or something. Yeah, you actually have better. Stop attacking. Just defend once more. Please don't force me to fall back at least. No. Okay, you don't. Good. So you are... Well, I need, to, I need one more division. <laughs> That's what I need. I need it. I can't just do anything anymore. I need it. I just have to wait for it. Let's get some resources in the meantime. Break them. Nope. Just fall back. We need a push, we need a break, we need to do something that's gonna surprise them. But right now, we have nothing. This division is gonna be the one thing that's gonna break us, break them, and make us win. This is useless. Let's ignore that one. Let's get one more tank. How much reduced speed? 5%? 10%? I think that's necessary. God. Socializing. Socializing. Nope. Come on. Come on, Daniel. Can you do anything to make this happen faster? Right now, I don't think so. All we have to do is, well, break their losses. Break their troops. Make them have nothing left.
called, you lost that one. Because we're doing quite heavy penalties right here. Okay, one full of their division versus one of mine. Oh, let's fall back right now. And let them wear themselves out on me and then counterattack. And we broke them. But you are severely slack, starting to lack equipment right now. Very nice. Um, well, we are getting our stuff, but right now our tank division is missing quite a bit of equipment. And with quite a bit, I mean a lot of equipment. What if I reduced my one tank right here? That would be quite a big difference. But it might help me enough, because I need just... I need this tank division right now. I'm actually gonna reduce it by one. Cool, thank you. Let's see, you will still do really well. It's terrain that is giving us a horrible penalty. Would have been better to go with one big infantry division? I don't think so. I don't think so. This one tank division should probably have done better. But the problem I see right now is, yeah, the terrain. Come on, break them. Break the two remaining units right here. Cool, that's one unit. Okay, we're gonna grab one more province right now. It's very, very slowly. <laughs> slowly but steadily. Slowly but steadily wins the race. Or isn't that something you say? <laughs> but the problem right now is they can attack me from several directions. We're really winning that battle just by very little. Actually, let's deploy that unit right now. And that might actually be better. And then just have you both getting reinforced as much as possible. This might actually be much better to do. You're attacking, I'm just gathering up equipment. Just relax, relax, stay there and train. Do whatever that's necessary. More, more than 9 civilian factories, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Um, let's actually get this one, stability plus 5. Might give us the, well, higher stability level right now. So this is your entire army. 5-7, yeah. This is your entire army. If I attack right here. And then you start the division 2. That's actually pretty goddamn good. But let's wait a bit more. Let's just get some more reinforcement. That costs us almost 100 manpower, that weird attack. More than 9 civilian factories is necessary. We barely have that. Well, we tr we're tr currently trading away everything. Oh, th doesn't that count as my civilian factories? Oh. Hmm. Surprising. Anyway, uh, let's now have them break. Oh god, you actually... You actually pushed back, even. Oh, really? 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 Shite, that was bad. You lost that much, so much equipment, you actually were pulled back. And I don't want to use one infantry unit, even though I could probably supply it right now. Let's see, how much manpower do you need? You need 1000 manpower and 100 equipment. Anything but that. Anything, oh god, why are you so aggressive, Daniel? Why, why, why did he do that? That was horrible, horrible played. Horrendously played. Come on, just break them right there. Cool. Then we need to break them right here too. Actually, see if we can just overrun. Nope. You're trying to just get around me. Let's fall back. <laughs> oh, this is the big penalty right now. We have one division. We needed two right there. Oh wait, did we lose everything by attacking that one province? Oh, I think we might have. This division is basically spent. They're doing so much more damage right now. Will we... Come on, we were so close. You started doing much more damage. And now we are, we are spent. We have nothing more to give. We don't have manpower, we don't have anything. So I think we are gonna count this as a failed attempt. And boom. 
we're gone. And the only thing that happened was that he switched to social democrats. <laughs> no, but we'll have to retry this. Hmm. Let's see. Let's jump back right here. So this is why you have to do stuff. You mess up when you do Vatican City stuff. Well, now this is Liechtenstein stuff. But yeah. So we should still declare this war. Definitely. But what we should really do is now scraping the barrel and let's see. Actually, scrape me the barrel and then just wait for another troop. With that one extra troop, it's gonna be fine, I think. But until that moment, let's just wait. I just wanted to make this as quickly as possible and now I actually just wasted time. Wasted time I don't have. Maybe I should do this as a part one then. And have another part 2 soon. Where I actually do this. Yeah, I think I have to. So anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Like, subscribe, and all nice stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Bye and bye.